Hello, everyone. This is a special edition of ABC 10 News, and we start with breaking news tonight. One person has died and three others have been rescued after an avalanche at Palisades Tahoe. We do thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. Right now, we know this happened around 930 this morning above the GS Bowl area of the KT-22 at the resort. This was the first day that area was open for the season. Fire crews say they were responding to a leg injury when they got word of the avalanche at the resort. Several agencies responded, including Olympic Valley Fire, the Placer County Sheriff's Office, and Tahoe Nordic Search and Rescue. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live in Placer County tonight. And Roxanne, a scary day for so many people. Tell us what happened. Chris and Laura, a very scary and sad situation here as the Placer County Sheriff's Office confirmed one person was found dead, another injured after an avalanche around 930 this morning. Now we do not know their identities yet, but what we're told is they were not from the area. Another two people were injured, were also rescued and pulled out of the snow. I want to let you guys take a look at some video that we obtained earlier showing just the moments that skiers rescued another skier after the avalanche. One man says he was skiing with a friend when they saw the avalanche about 30 seconds in front of them. The Placer County Sheriff's Office telling us they responded shortly after. It happened on the Palisade side of the ski resort, specifically above the GS Bowl area of K222. Now the Olympic Valley Fire Department and Palisades Tahoe also responded. One man was killed and another man has minor non life threatening injuries. At this point in time, all search efforts have concluded and there is no one else up on the mountain. D. Byrne, the president and CEO of Palisades Tahoe Resort, says the incident is under investigation. You know, the first thing that we do in a circumstance like this is really take care of our people. And so our guests and uh, certainly our team members, our employees, and also our community. So that's first and foremost on my mind. Um, our hearts are out to the and condolences to the to the victim, to victim's family, and certainly to everybody else involved in the incident. The Placer County Sheriff's Office says it is working to notify the family of the victim, and until then, they will not release any more information. Now, the ski resort here says they do plan to open up tomorrow. Chris, Laura, back to you in studio. Roxanne, such an incredibly sad day. Our hearts go out to the families involved and even the rescuers. We know that they were up against some very brutal conditions. There's still a lot to learn in this investigation. Roxanne Elias, keep us posted. Thank you. Let's talk more about those conditions. Monica mm -hmm. is standing by now. Monica, this all happened as a big winter storm was moving in, right? That's right. The state of the snowpack was really starting to grow into a more dangerous level here. As you can see, considerable danger for avalanche due to the steep slope, a weak layer in the snow cover, Plus, we had some gusty winds, which can sometimes trigger an avalanche. Now, you can see over the past several days that we have had avalanches observed, as well as uh, observations of collapsing and cracking right around the Tahoe Basin. That indicated in the red and orange dots here. Here's the state of the snowpack. Back on that New Year's storm, we had that weak layer form. Remember that weak storm that rolled on through? Then a new storm started to roll on through over the weekend. That put new snow on that weak layer, leaving it fairly vulnerable with a cold and shallow snowpack. Here's a look at those peak wind gusts over 50 miles per hour for the Tahoe Basin for today. Some of the peaks even higher than that. Our winter storm warning continues until one o'clock in the morning, and you can see we're still looking at quite a bit of snow for the high elevations. As far as the valley, things are starting to wind down at this hour, but still that snow continues for tonight. More on that coming up. Sounds good, Mike.